Good evening, space flight enthusiasts. Once again, making a late night announcement in regards to an FAA notification. Things have taken a bit of a grim turn in this situation with Starship Flight 7. Potentially, hopefully it's not as serious as it sounds, but here's what I received. Quote, the FAA is requiring SpaceX to perform a mishap investigation into the loss of Starship vehicle during launch operations on January the 16th. There are no reports of public injury, and the FAA is working with SpaceX and appropriate authorities to confirm reports of public property damage on Turks and Caicos. This is where things get a little complicated because we're talking about damage to property belonging to citizens of a sovereign nation other than the United States. During the event, the FAA activated a debris response area and briefly slowed aircraft outside the area where the space vehicle debris was falling or stopped aircraft at their departure location. Several aircraft requested it to divert due to low fuel levels while holding outside impacted areas. In other words, they had to divert to different airports because they were running low on fuel during this incident. A mishap investigation is designed to enhance public safety, determine the root cause of the event, and identify corrective actions to avoid it from happening again. The FAA will be involved in every step of the SpaceX-led mishap investigation process and must approve SpaceX's final report, including any corrective actions. A return to flight is based on the FAA determining that any system, process, or procedure related to the mishap does not affect public safety. But here's the additional feature of this report, the additional action being taken by the FAA. Quote, a debris response area is activated only if the space vehicle experiences an anomaly with debris falling outside of the identified closed aircraft hazard areas. It allows the FAA to direct aircraft to exit the area and prevent others from entering. This is a very important distinction because it suggests that at least some debris fell outside of the evacuation flight corridor, which is a serious event and something that's probably going to require a pretty detailed investigation. And by the way, this is also contrary to what SpaceX has said about this incident. However, assuming that Elon maintains his very strong relationship with President Trump, I think there's a very good chance that all of this is going to get cleared up pretty rapidly, although that's probably going to ruffle lots of feathers, not only at the FAA, but also with all of the airlines, some of which are not American, that got inconvenienced by this event. But nevertheless, once again, I think it's likely that Trump is going to clear a lot of the barriers for SpaceX, and we should see another launch in the next month or two. But then again, to my knowledge, this is the most serious U.S. space flight accident, at least as far as potential damage and danger to people on the ground and in the air are concerned since the 2003 Columbia burn-up over U.S. territory. So 20 years it's been since something this serious has happened, and although this incident certainly cannot begin to compare to the severity of the Columbia incident, which obviously involved the death of seven astronauts, it's hard to say how the FAA is going to react. I will keep all of you up to date, and until next time, stay angry about space.